free beer, hot wings, Zane, Joe, Grand Rapids! <laughs> Tomorrow is Thanksgiving. It's a day to reflect, to look back, to give thanks. I have a lot in my life to be thankful for. I get along with my family, I have a fun job, I have a cool girlfriend, a bunch of cool friends, and a dog who greets me at the door every day when I get home. It's pretty good, life's good. But rewind about 400 years or so, and things weren't so good for our friends, the pilgrims. <laughs> okay. Yeah. You see, okay. when the pilgrims yeah. hopped aboard the Mayflower and set sail for the New World, they didn't really think things through very well. They didn't know how to hunt or fish or grow crops or do anything useful at all that would justify colonizing anything on their own. They were essentially useless. And since they forgot to check their weather app when they left England, they arrived at Plymouth Rock at the beginning of winter. For those of you who have never been in that area during the winter, it can be pretty damn cold. And the pilgrims' stupid buckle hats and high socks did little to fend off the cold. Half of them did not survive that first winter. But it's okay, along came the Indians. They knew how to do all the stuff that the idiot pilgrims didn't, so they made an agreement. In exchange for protection by the pilgrims from rival tribes, Hitler and Christopher Columbus, the Indians would keep them alive by teaching them true life skills. Okay. So within weeks, the pilgrims were riding elephants bareback, hunting, <laughs> hunting for pumpkin pies in the wild. Mashed potato plants growing waist high as far as the eye could see. And the lady pilgrims had finally perfected growing cranberry sauce with the ridges already in the side of it. <laughs> Soon, the pilgrims were flourishing. They invented football and began playing every Sunday. Amazon Prime was founded around this time, thanks to, <laughs> thanks to two-day shipping by Santa Claus. Yeah. And Adam Sandler commemorated the Pilgrims' success by writing the Thanksgiving song, yeah. which inexplicably would still be heard on radio stations for the next 400 wow. years. It may have taken us a couple hundred years, but we finally figured it out. Give thanks for family, friends, health, and a year of good crops? No, 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 no. The true meaning of Thanksgiving is taking a chicken and stuffing it into a duck and then taking that and stuffing it inside of a turkey. Mm. Yes. Turducken. Gluttony is key. Thanksgiving means eating till you barf. <laughs> Thanksgiving is Detroit Lions football. Yes. So, so tomorrow evening, when you're about to carve the Thanksgiving eagle, thank a pilgrim. <laughs> Then punch that pilgrim in the face when you see him Friday morning fighting you for the last nice price copy of Dwarf on Golf in the stocking stuffer aisle at Walmart. <laughs> Go Lions! <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving to all and to all a good night!